الحمد لله نحمد ونستعين ونستغفر ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله Indeed all praise is due to Allah and as such we should praise him we should seek his help and seek refuge in him from the evil which is within ourselves and the evil which results from our deeds for whomsoever Allah has guided none can misguide and whomsoever Allah has allowed to go astray none can guide and I bear witness that there is no God worthy of worship but Allah and that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was the last messenger of Allah inna asdaq al hadithi kitab Allah the most truthful form of speech is the book of Allah the word of Allah وَخَيْرَ هَدْيِ هَدْيُ مُحَمَّدٍ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمُ And the best source of guidance was that brought by Muhammad صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمُ Because he didn't speak from himself what he spoke was revelation وَشَرَّ الْأُمُورِ مُحْدَثَاتُهَا وَكُلَّ مُحْدَثَةٍ بِدْعَةٍ وَكُلَّ بِدْعَةٍ ضَلَالَةٍ وَكُلَّ ضَلَالَةٍ فِي النَّارِ Indeed, the worst of all affairs are innovations in religion. For every innovation in religion is a cursed innovation. An all cursed innovation is a source of misguidance and all misguidance leads ultimately to the hellfire. Brothers and sisters, we are in the second half of the month of Sha'ban and as was mentioned weeks ago when we entered into this month this is a month in which Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam fasted more often more days than any other month in the year with the exception of Ramadan this is what his wives, his companions said about him in this month he didn't say to us to do so so for us not to do so is not sinful but he left this example an example by which he prepared himself for Ramadan through frequent fasting in the month of Shaban. His companions, the generations that followed, took from this example the wisdom, the wisdom of preparing for Ramadan. So they used to say in Shaban, Sha after speaking about Rajab, as being the month in which the seeds for Ramadan were to be planted then Sha'ban became the month of cultivating and watering those seeds so that by the month of Ramadan 
we would have fruit bearing trees whose fruits we could pick, we could harvest in Ramadan. And this is quite a logical and reasonable approach to Ramadan. It is planning, preparing to get the most out of Ramadan. So, shouldn't we learn from the example of the Prophet ﷺ? Shouldn't we at least in this month fast every Monday and Thursday? Which he recommended as days of fasting throughout the year, which we don't do. At least in Sha'ban, let us do it. We missed the opportunity of the three days in the middle of the lunar calendar, the 13th, 14th, and 15th of Sha'ban, which he also recommended. They're past. But still, we do have Monday coming up. We do have Thursday coming up. We do have some days, a few days that we can catch. And it would be good to add some more days to it. Whether you set every other day till we reach the last couple of days because those last couple of days before Ramadan we shouldn't fast unless it happens to be a Thursday or a Monday which we were regularly fasting anyway then you can go ahead and do it but otherwise if you are like the rest of us not fasting throughout the whole year and just trying to do some fast now then at least a couple of days before Ramadan stop but in these last week and a half that we have left or so, let us try to do some more fasting. To get our children to do some fasting and to get in that frame of mind, the Ramadan frame of mind. Do some extra <coughs> Quran reading in the mornings stay up after Fajr till, sunset, till sunrise get the additional reward try to establish that practice so this is an opportunity which the example of the Prophet ﷺ has left for us there is however a practice which I would like to make reference to uh, perhaps I should have made it last week since the 15th of Sha'ban occurred in the middle of this past week now the 15th of Sha'ban is commonly celebrated by Muslims of the Indian subcontinent Pakistan, India, Bangladesh Sri Lanka as a night of special worship fasting on that day and staying up all night in prayer It's been given the name Shabi Barat or the, the night of forgiveness where all of one's sins would be forgiven. But fact of the matter is Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did not sanction 
this night as a special night of worship. Laylatul Qadr was sanctioned. But Laylatul Qadr was left undefined. Laylatul Qadr, which is the greatest night, that was left undefined. Most people celebrated on the 27th. However, reality is Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu didn't know exactly which night it was. And based on the various narrations, the scholars concluded that the night may vary from year to year. Among the odd nights of the last ten. And if the calculations for the beginning of Ramadan were off by a day, then it actually becomes what we thought were the even nights of the last ten. So we are encouraged in those last ten to do extra ibadah in order to catch Laylatul Qadr. <coughs> Alhamdulillah. So common sense would tell us that it doesn't or it isn't logical that after leaving the greatest night hidden the Prophet ﷺ will now tell us on the 15th exactly because now 15th is more precise it's been stated all your sins will be forgiven on that night it doesn't make sense it is not consistent with the Sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ. and in fact all of the narrations and they are found in uh, Ibn Majah, At-Tirmidhi, Abu Dawood, Musnad Ahmed there are narrations in these texts which are among the recognized texts of Hadith which contain many uh, authentic Hadiths but also contain inauthentic Hadiths that these are a collection of inauthentic narrations so this practice of celebrating this 15th of Shaban is one which doesn't have legal sanction in Islam if one wants to stay a night in prayer one can do it it's not to say the act itself is bidah or to say that fasting any day we choose is not permissible no, it is permissible and if it happened that we chose the 15th as a day to fast not a problem but when we add special qualities to that day and that night then we are legislating this is where the problem comes we are now legislating legislating something which Prophet Muhammad وسلم, did not legislate and as it is authentically reported the Prophet Muhammad had said I have left nothing to be 